IDC has been given the mandate to actively form partnership with private sector in funding opportunities across their green hydrogen value chain. These collaborative efforts are expected to accelerate the development of a sustainable and inclusive local green hydrogen economy. Today, we stand on the brink of a new development in our effort to bring cheaper, more accessible energy solution to the world in the form of hydrogen. South Africa's access to platinum resource places the country at an advantage position for developing the green hydrogen value chain and become a key supplier of hydrogen uh, market across the globe. In addition, South Africa is well endowed with key ingredients critical for the hydrogen economy, such as the PGM metal, uh, metals, and they and are used in the electrolyzers needed to produce green hydrogen as a fuel and, and the fuel and to fuel rather the hydrogen cells electric vehicles. South Africa has more than 80% of the world's reserves and is home to the largest platinum mining company companies in the world. The start of South Africa's involvement in the hydrogen economy dates back to 2008, when the Hydrogen South Africa HISA was officially launched by the Department of Science and Innovation. The vision of HISA was to use local resources and existing knowledge to create knowledge and human resource capacity, enabling the development of high value commercial activities in hydrogen and fuel cell technologies. The aim is to create sustainable local manufacturing sector for hydrogen production and PGM-based fuel cells by beneficiating South African PGM minerals through appropriate mechanisms that can support a local and global market. The DTIC has supported fuel cells demonstration and component production, including the establishment of fuel cells manufacturing at the Dubai Trade Port SEZ. The approximately 150 investment has created a manufacturing facility with an initial capacity of 1,500 fuel cells per annum. The company, in collaboration with the DTIC, has started the process of localization with initial local suppliers, which include printed circuit board assemblies, wire harnesses, pressure tanks, sheet metals, manifolds, and vacuum formed ducts identified for inclusion in the supplier chain.